You think weapons of mass destruction are modern? You're wrong. Here are the first five weapons of mass destruction in Asian history. Number five, the Huacha, Korea, the Reign of Fire, a cart that could launch 200 rocket-powered arrows at once. It wasn't about accuracy, it was about erasure. A few of these could turn an entire battalion into a pincushion in seconds. Number four, the Thunder Crash Bomb, China, the grandfather of the frag grenade, a cast iron shell filled with gunpowder and shrapnel. When it hit, it didn't just burn, it detonated. It could blow men and horses to pieces, shattering the morale of any army that faced it. Number three, Greek fire, West Asia, the napalm of antiquity, a secret liquid sprayed from siphons. It stuck to everything, flesh, wood, stone. It couldn't be put out with water. Water only made it burn hotter. It turned the sea itself into a burning grave. Number two, the corpse catapult, the Mongols, the first biological weapon. During the siege of Kaffa, the Mongols loaded their trebuchets not with stones, but with the rotting bodies of bubonic plague victims. They launched the Black Death over the walls, triggering a pandemic that would kill half of Europe. Number one, the Yellow River Flood, China, 1938. The ultimate scorched earth. To stop the Japanese invasion, the Nationalist Army blew the dikes of the Yellow River. It wasn't a weapon of steel, but of water. It stopped the Japanese but it drowned an estimated 800,000 civilians. A weapon so powerful, it didn't distinguish between the enemy and its own people. Subscribe to Asia Times Discovered and listen to our sleep content. You could check it out.